Hello there everyone and welcome back to Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai with the Total Fall of the Samurai mod. Last time around I showed you the Boxer Rebellion, kind of-ish. And as I said in that video there were more Chinese troops to take a look at, some heavily armored troops. And those are the one we're seeing right here. So I decided the best way to show off the Chinese, the other Chinese troops is to put China against China. So with the Emperor being disgraced in the last video by foreign powers an internal power struggle start within China who is going to cast out these uh, foreign devils and purify the Chinese mainland so warlords spring up all over the place and so right here we have the blue the blue warlord and his army and out there Marching towards us, we've got the Red Warlord with his red troops and then some of his troops are red and white just like some of my troops are blue and red. So the armies are exactly the same uh, in terms of what they bring to the field. Uh, the only difference is that I boosted my general with a lot of chevrons so he can make a final stand if I am to lose. So we can see the formation I have made right here on the riverbank. So my idea is as the enemy advances they'll have to cross here. They'll be tired because of the heavy armor and that will make it easy for my matchlock Chinese warriors to shoot them down as they try to cross here, try to run. And as that happens in the back line I've also got these archers to rain down fire arrows on them. Um, probably not while they're in the water. We'll wait with the fire arrows till they reach the shore here. Then once that has been fired off, we'll retreat back behind the spears, which can form spear wall. And uh, then we'll try to hold them there. While all of this is happening, I've got cannons here on the ridge above being able to uh, shell them as they advance. Now these are uh, Tiger Cannons. They don't have very great range. They don't pack a lot of punch. But uh, with the thick formations uh, the Chinese Warlords move in we should be able to take quite a few enemies with us as they march through the valley right here. And then in case my sort of almost phalanx-like formation of spearmen is to be um, uh, flanked or the enemy moves around I've got sword infantry. This sword infantry, I've got four battalions right here ready to protect the cannons and we've got a similar four battalions over on my left ready to defend and we've got the warlord here in the center and the enemy army has exactly the same besides the fact that I've boosted my general to have really good stats compared to the enemy one. So more melee attack, more melee morale and so forth. Um, so he can make a great stand. With that said, the Chinese armies move very slow which you might imagine with carrying all this armor on them. It's basically like, I mean, it's a uh, pretty darn thick armor. And also for some reason these cannons are really bloody slow. They're not heavier than the European cannons but they're really bloody slow and it takes forever to move them around. Not only that, they have shit range so I think Compared to the European artillery, they'll get sh torn to pieces. Now, I chose the tiger, uh, the tiger cannons because they have a tiger on them. Or you can see a little tiger head there. It's not easy to see maybe on that one since it's moving. But we can look at one of my cannons. And we can see there's a little bit of a tiger's head there. They're not that great, these cannons, but... Anyways, with it said, what I think we'll do is we'll actually j cut through the material right here and then jump to 
the point when the enemy is actually reaching us because that is going to take quite a while. Um, and also, I'm thinking about moving quite a few of the sword battalions from over here, or at least half of them, over to this side. Because looking at the, how the terrain sort of vaults itself, the enemy can move troops on this side and come and attack this flank a lot quicker um, than on this side, which will be uh, uh, take quite a while to actually get to. So I don't think it this... This is a more secure flank, while this one is a bit more open. And also, that's why we have the cannons and stuff. But I'm thinking, probably move two of my sword infantry from this side over to support these. But with that said, let's go ahead and see if we cannot jump into when the actual civil war, the battle, starts. And we're back, and as we can see, the Red Warlord has now moved his troops to the point where he's passing over this hill, which is within cannon range. It's a preset target, and my cannons have already fired upon, so we know they're in they're well within range. And so it's time to let the cannons rip through the enemy warlord's lines. And just as we open fire, they halt for a second. Let's see the cannon. There we go. The cannon shots bouncing through. But they continue. Undoubted. Their artillery is nowhere to be seen. It's all the way back here they've deployed it. And all <laughs> they've got still stuck in the river back here so nowhere close looking at this they yeah they will come harder at this side I don't think they will be able to bypass this side at all we're gonna send three of these units should have sent them a lot earlier the matchlocks I've put them to fire uh, by rank so first rank will fire then second rank then third rank and so forth. Uh, the bowmen, I think we'll hold fire with them, use fire arrows in a big volley for, for the effect of it, and I think that will be rather nice. Right, with the enemy closing in here, these four battalions will move to the side and then deploy here to protect our flank. Cannon shot ripping through these lines. Wait, were they playing what I think they were playing? Yankee Doodle went to town. What? Right. Keep up the fire, boys. And, and as we notice here, the cannons have quite a horrible reload as well. Every time I get close, they stop playing it. This is what I feared. Their bow infantry will be able to fire before my matchlocks. And they've put their bow infantry in front. Oh, I can hear units charging now. Right, the sword infantry is ready. They'll move into position. And it's time to take a look at the matchlocks. As they'll be ready. Oh, here comes some arrows. Didn't really kill that many, though. Hold steady. You know what? I think we might want to wait with firing, possibly, until they get closer, because we'll probably just get one shot off. Right now, they don't want to fire at all. Oh, here we go. Okay, looks like they got one guy there. Second rank! Third rank! Let's see. Let's take command of the bowmen. Bowmen! Fire arrows! This is gonna be sweet. Ooh ho 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 ho! 
set fire to them. Okay, the enemy is now charging the lines. The gunners are to pull back and the bowmen as well. As the, and as they pull back through here, these guys will form spear walls. Charge them! Charge them in their flanks. Okay, so the gunners, they will hold just here, but obviously not fire. Okay, time to move these guys back. Maybe a bit late even. And then form spare walls over here as well. I'm not sure, entirely sure my spear wall is doing that well. Also, it's kind of bunching up. I'll have to keep a close eye on that spear wall right here. Because that one is acting up. And we'll have to be ready... ...with this, these units to open fire on the enemy. Right, General. Support your men. Inspire the units that are close to collapse. Keep up the fire. Oh, my swordmen have been able to break through. It's kind of hard to see because all, they're all Chinese. Alright, let's see if we can get another fire volley. No, that's way far out in the distance. So, they're still holding on a bit on this side. My spear wall held. It's hard to tell when... Oh shit. Oh, that guy took it. When the... When uh, our guys are bloodied. What's going on on this side? I wouldn't want to be in the spear wall because, well, the, the enemy uh, is firing guns and stuff right at it. And you have this thick wall of man. Or men, I should say. That just get shot to pieces. Boom! Love this. Wonderful. Right, with this and the fact that my swordmen over here have sort of cut One through everything, no fire, I want to concentrate my swordmen that got through to try to get them over here. This unit is probably not going to last long. Um, I really wish, yes, we could soon be able to get another fire volley off. Right, I want these guys to move back. Bowmen to hold fire. We'll concentrate the bows. Towards the center where there's still opposition. And we'll prepare a fire volley against them. Is the enemy general still alive? Oh, they, the enemy has brought up one of their cannons at, at, at this final stage. The spear wall here has lost about half its men. The infantry here could be able to cut through the line, but if they do, we've got gunners ready to fire. And now when I've relocated all my bowmen here to the center, I think uh, the enemy stands very little chance of breaking through. There are very few troops left as well. But I want a spectacular end to this battle shooting a lot of fire arrows over the top of my men. Let's see. 13 seconds left. I mean, they would better draw it straight towards us and fire than doing it at this strange angle. Right, ready. Or the fire arrow. 
Any second now. Some units. Ah, some units are actually out of bow. Or out of arrows. Out of bows, that would be weird. Okay, so we've got two units. Out of our six. Right. Fire arrows. Fire! That would scare the living shit out of anyone. Right, the spear wall is getting absolutely destroyed. So we're gonna retreat with the spear wall. Send forwards the gunners. Well, that's actually not needed at this point. Because the enemy is falling back. I thought they would have more bows. But I guess they, they run out of arrows a lot quicker than the guns. Just because of um, how long it takes to reload that stuff. Ooh, that was cool, like a ripple fire going through the line. So many dead Chinese soldiers all over the place there. A unit has used all available I wonder how many enemies have been killed. I just saw that one guy take a shot at him. Ooh. They're coming close. Oh, there goes the uh, cannon. And everyone with it. Ah! Try to retreat. Get over the river. Really cool battle here. Um, but then it's over. Right, so let's go ahead and end this. And I want to see how many men were killed during this battle and how many I lost. Not a single unit on my side, as far as I can see, were uh, actually destroyed or retreated. However, we can see that we lost, some units here lost a lot of men. And here we have the statistics of the battle. We both deployed 7,090 men. I lost 1,800 soldiers, while I took out 3,003, no actually 3,200 and they lost 3,300. I thought we killed more of them though. Um, and as we can see just quickly here by looking at this, we can see that the matchlocks... I... Basically nothing. They didn't shoot that... I mean, together, all of them together, barely shot a hundred men. And they each of these units were like 200 men. So that's... what? 1600 men, and they only killed like a hundred, so that... The batch... <laughs> they batchlocks? The matchlocks were quite useless. Uh, then we come to the spearmen. They did quite fair, 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 quite a lot better. Some of them killing up to 200, but not a lot of kills there either. Um, then the sword infantry. Here is where we see the kills come up: 300, 300, 200, and so forth. And then, well, these guys weren't even deployed in into the battle. Uh, cannons. Uh, quite unusually good, 64, uh, so against those really big formations that the enemy used, and the shot bouncing through them, I killed a lot. On the enemy side, the enemy general actually killed 62 soldiers, but I completely like lost sight of him. Their gunners did a lot better, we've got one of their gunners, probably the one that held to the last, there in the middle. Oh, they actually deployed 150, there's 150 each in the gunners, I was wrong there, I think I said 200. Um, but the gunners did well, um, their bow infantry did well because of their range. We have some, let's see, their spear infantry did very bad poorly, losing a lot of men. But I'm surprised that there weren't that many people killed. Oh, we actually have an enemy cannon that actually killed people. I don't know how that happened. But 
I'm surprised at the lack of casualties. Out of an army of 7,000, only about 3,000 died, meaning that 4,000 left the field alive. Which seems quite a lot, but I guess I'm used to higher casualty rates due to just the modern weaponry that uh, the, the, other, the European Imperial powers are using. So we're, then we see a lot more casualties um, and a lot more people dying. But there we have it, we have the Chinese Civil War. And uh, with that, I'll uh, say hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!